Hello. Welcome to another day on our journey of 30 Days of Hope. Today I want to read to you a scripture uh, from Acts chapter 1, verse 8. It's a well-known scripture that speaks of our calling to be witnesses for Christ in the world. The Bible says in uh, verse 8 of ch Acts chapter 1, it says, But you, these are the words of Jesus, to his disciples, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And what is Jesus saying here? Jesus is saying that every believer in Jesus Christ, every person that becomes a disciple, a follower of Jesus, is going to be someone who God calls to be a witness to the world. Now, what is a witness? A witness is someone who gives evidence to a fact. In other words, they're, they're able to say, hey, um, I know that this is true because I saw it with my own eyes, or I experienced this, and so I bear witness to this fact. Well, we are to bear witness to the fact that Jesus is the Savior. And how do we do that? We bear witness by saying, he saved me. He saved my life. He changed my life. And the Bible says that God will send his Holy Spirit to empower us to take that message of, hey, Jesus has changed my life to the world um, that we're in. And God calls you to do the same, to bear witness. And you know, during these crisis days, no doubt God wants you to be a witness to someone else about the love and the power of Christ. And how do you do that? Will you share with people how Jesus Christ has changed your life? You know, a great way to think about your story of how to, uh, to uh, tell uh, or what, a great way to, to tell your story is to understand your story in three parts. The first part is your life before you encountered Jesus Christ. The second part is how you ac accepted Jesus Christ, came to know Christ. And the third part is what is life like walking with Jesus? You know, before I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, there was a this underlying darkness in my life. There was this sense that um, I was uh, far from my purpose. Uh, there was a sense of real deep, soul deep loneliness. And I didn't understand it at the time, but it was because I was in a very vital sense disconnected from the relationship with God that I was made for, created for. And I was lost in sin, wandering away from God and denying God in so many ways. But then God revealed himself to me. In fact, um, that's the second part of my story is how I came to know Christ. And um, I came to a place where I realized there had to be a God and, and I needed to find him. And that was something that the Holy Spirit had, had kind of done in my heart to give me a hunger to, to seek after God. And then he got me in the, got into my hands a Bible, and I began to read that Bible and discovered from that Bible that, that the God of the Bible was the answer to, to, to people's questions. And I wanted to understand that better, and I found a, f a friend who shared with me um, how I could understand what the Bible was saying. And, and uh, this, this man shared with me how uh, Jesus Christ came as the Son of God, fully man, fully God, to die on the cross for my sins, to rise again to be my Savior, and that if I repented of my sins, trusted in Jesus as my Lord, and accepted Him as my Savior and Lord, why then I would be made right with God, forgiven of my sins, have heaven as my home, and I'd be able to walk with God every day. And so I gave my life to Jesus. I repented of my sins. I turned to Christ. I accepted him into my life, and I began to follow him. That was the, that's the second part of my story. And then the third part of my story is what it's like to walk with Christ now. And, and you know, I, I've been for decades now walking with Jesus, living for him. And sometimes I've failed him and have had to come back and ask for forgiveness and allow him to restore my heart. Other times I've been able to walk with him and have great confidence and growing confidence in him that's helped me through all of the challenges and crises of my life. In addition to that, in walking with the Lord, I, I, I can look forward to the future knowing that no matter what is in that future, God's going to be in that future with me. And that even when I die someday, I'll be with God 
in heaven. And that gives me so much hope. What's your story? How did, what was your life before, like, life before Christ? What was your life like when you came to know Christ? And what's life like now as you walk with Christ? Share that with somebody. Share that. And if you're somebody that says, you know what, I don't even know Christ as my Savior and Lord, then maybe today is an opportunity for you to think, maybe I need to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior so that I too can have a story of redemption and faith in Christ. Let's be witnesses to our whole world of what Jesus has done for us.